Oh, what's up, people? Welcome back to Freaky Day Live. My name is Dinesh. We are watching today a YouTube clip. It's called Good Cop, Indian Mom Cop, Williams and Friend by BBC. Now, this clip has been recommended to me by one of my Patreon, William. So, thank you, William, for recommending me this. So, yeah, let's see what does this Indian mom do as a cop because majority of the moms are kind of like a detective. They know. Not just Indian mom in general. I think it, all the moms are kind of like detectives. They know. Like, your child is doing something they're not supposed to do. They already, they, they, they get their spider tingling or whatever. But, yeah. Indian mom is just like getting their spider tinglings, knowing that their child is doing something wrong and then baiting the shit out of them. So yeah, let's see what this Indian mom will do. Alrighty, without any further ado, let's jump into this. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch the full length reaction video of the movies and the TV shows that I do, head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my videos. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Start in three, two, one, go. He's a hard-bitten cop looking for a new part. I know this guy from somewhere, I think. Let, let's see the description. Uh, David Williams is joined by the actress writer Mira Shah. Okay, let's see who's David Williams. Oh, okay, this guy. Okay, from Britain's Got Talent. He's a hard-bitten cop looking for a new partner. She's a menopausal lady with a huge collection of Tupperware. Together okay, they yeah, are sure. <laughs> Indian mom cop. Huge collection of Tupperware. <laughs> You're on the bank CCTV. We find 400 grand in your flat. Mm -hmm. You banged to rights. Why don't you just confess? I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Oh, come on, Razor. I'm trying to make it easy for you. It looks so different. David, of course it does. It's because of the makeup. You tried the good cop act. What are you going to do? Try and uh, get me to squeal with a bad cop? Yep. You'll see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come in. Mm -hmm. It's all yours. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what the bloody hell do you think you're doing, huh? Mm -hmm. Loafer, rat scallion, big Loafer, loafer. Yeah, that's one of the term my mom, even my mom used when she used to beat me up. Loafer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? Yeah, loafer, rat scallion, big girl, sorry. <laughs> I can do what the bloody hell I like. Yep, 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 yep. I've seen your file. I've talked to your aunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not the aunt. Auntie Pat, I had a nice long chat. <laughs> Shit. She spoke to Auntie Pat. Mm -hmm. Do you want to kill your auntie with shame? <laughs> so, are you ready to confess? <laughs> confess to what? Confess to being a disappointment. <laughs> You're not a disappointment. Oh, really? Every child is a disappointment in, in their parents' eyes. Uh, Indian parents' eyes. There's nothing you can do to make them happy. Nothing. There's always something like, oh, their son did that. Oh, their son did that. Yeah, but I'll come to that topic after this video. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh shit, don't answer it. Aha! Okay. My sister in law's cousin's daughter has been single forever. <laughs> Do you like very big girls with mono brows? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna set you up. A robbery. This is a photograph. That's typically Indian mom just trying to set you up no matter who you are. <laughs> oh shit. God damn, I'm pausing it so many times. You know what? I'll write this stuff down so I can talk about it after the video so I, will, I won't pause it that much, you know? This is a photograph of your bedroom where we found the 400 grand. <gasps> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of your room. Do you want to catch diseases? <laughs> when are you going to give your mother some grandchildren? Oh, What's that got to do with anything? That's, that's a conversation with... with everything, your poor mother. Don't be so selfish. Mm -hmm. She's the real victim here. Well, that's the conversation me and my mom have. Oh, <laughs> You're like, get married, give me grandkids. Oh, look at you. You're so thin. You're wasted. <laughs> hey, let me give you something. We can't expect you to talk when you're hungry. No, I'm, I'm fine. Samosa? No, no, <laughs> Did you say mom? No, no, no. <laughs> he said mom. Oh, no. oh yes. Yes. Faluda? Yes, faluda. I haven't had faluda in a long time. God damn, that's some delicious stuff. I'll have the twigs. <laughs> Leave it alone. You're too fat already. You are a bit lumpy. Ah, look at him. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. <laughs> I mean, it can happen to him Wonder too. Free, I didn't want to go out with him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what are you planning to do with the money? What money? The money? The 400 grand. Store. My friend Sushma, she's selling her place. You know Sushma. No. no. <laughs> Everybody knows Sushma Mercedes. One very big ear, one very small ear. 
I haven't got any money. I can get you a very good deal. Rooms, double garage, gas barbecue. Skin. Mm. A hot tub in the garden for your hot date with Priya. No, I <laughs> you are already set up with Priya. Only for a uh. hundred thousand. This is the same amount of money that he I has. Got you. <laughs> it's for not eating my food, and this is for having filthy thoughts about Priya. Jesus! You're two weeks from retirement. I'm alright. I'm alright. Jesus! <laughs> She's not wearing bangles. That's the one. That's one problem okay. I think. Come on, darling. Where are you taking me to the cells? No, to the bank. To apologize. <laughs> yeah, sure. Move away from the twigs. I think the biryani. I think the biryani would be nice. Okay. So the things that I want to talk about is first of all, she's not wearing bangles. That's just the one thing. That's the one thing that I think that's missing. And the reason why I say is that because every time I got beaten up, I just remember that my mom's bangles used to break because she used to just slap me with them uh, with his hand and then. Yeah, the bangles used to break because of my face and sometimes used to cut me. Yeah, I know, horrible thing. But it's just a subtle, subtle thing that was just missing, you know. The bangles should be there and the bangles should have been broken. Because that happens in every household. Okay, the things that I want to talk about. She she keeps referring to Priya, you know. She, if you want to go out with Priya, you want to go out with Priya. Every Indian auntie, every Indian mother have like certain candidates in their head. So if they find like a, like a nice guy, uh, or a nice girl, they will try to set you up with that person that the, that candidate that they have in their mind. The reason why is because Indian parents, aunties or Indian moms, they love to be. It's called vachola in in our language, which just basically means that they, she's the person who is getting the arranged marriage. You know, she's the one who who came first with this arranged marriage to this both of the, these families. So she, that auntie will get a gold ring some clothes and some money during the wedding so yeah she, she will get that too so most of the aunties they look forward to this moment they, that's why they have like candidates inside their head all the time oh you want to get married i have a girl right there she's of same caste she's of kind of like the similar height so yeah you both will work out you don't know the amount of times like i go to like a family function or something the, the aunties would come up with to me and just give me so many choices of girls like even like they would just say just have a look just take a look you know maybe you'll like them no i i, I usually don't want to see the photos I, I never been the person who can who can know about a person you know by just by looking a photo i, I need to talk to that person first so yeah, I, I usually don't look at the photos and just say no. But poor aunties, they just feel so bad that I keep saying no. And, and in their head, it's like, okay, he's he's almost 27. Why isn't he get ma getting married? They, they don't understand it. Like, like their brain cannot comprehend not getting married at this age. Well, it's always been like that most of the time. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Now, the other thing, let's talk about. This auntie referred about her friend, Shushma, I think. Shushma, that was her name. So she was she kept saying, everybody knows Shushma. You don't, you don't know Shushma? And then she referred, uh, you know, Know her big year small year I have to keep looking there I hope my mom is not listening if she's outside but yeah my mom is exactly the same exactly the same if somebody is not getting the person she's talking about she would actually actually talk like them exactly like them I don't know how she do it I don't have the voice modulation system in my throat that she does she can change her voice very accurately in terms of the people that she is imitating and and she would give them give them certain names there would be so much rememberable but it will be like the accurate name for that person for example so she likes to call one other auntie of uh, sorry uh, a friend of hers uh, ostrich i mean she calls them in hindi it's chaturmur but ostrich because she kind of looks like an ostrich that person and this is just not my mother i mean the whole indian aunties are kind of like that and yeah the other aunties have also given names to my mother too so so usually it's me my mother and my aunt other auntie they always you know go out together if they are going to a market or something so they all so people always call them sita gita which are they referring to certain characters from a movie but yeah not important the thing i was trying to tell you is that every indian auntie has certain names for certain people or they would refer something so specific about that person that you would actually realize okay they're talking about this person got it and yeah getting hit by a slipper is just a just a mother thing i've been in that position so many times got hit by it so many times i even got hit by it let me show you that what worries is that she still keeps that thing i used to get beaten up with this thing as a, when i was a kid 
from this side. Of course, I cannot get beaten up from this side because if I do, I will be dead. You see right there, that's pointy thing. Yeah, it's still here for some reason. I don't get beaten up now and I, I like to keep it that way. Okay, I'll try, I, I'll try to be in my best behavior so I don't get beaten up. All right, so that was this episode or this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new about Indian parents or sorry, Indian mom in general. Indian aunties that's one other thing you need to know about Indian aunties like if one Indian auntie knows something then every like her whole group will know I think that's I think that's just common in like females maybe but it's like every other day the, uh, our neighbors would be at our, our whole home and <clears throat> they would be gossiping about some other person or some other auntie uh, what they what I've been going on in their life aunties are very much invested in other people's life and it's not like it's not like they have bad intention about it they like to gossip i get it and also they try also try to help but it's just it's just that's how they are Alrighty, that's been it hope you guys enjoyed this episode and learned something about indian mothers and my mother and yeah that's been it like this video share and subscribe and i will see you guys in south park